This is Dr. Aisha back with an another topic that is cultivation and conservation of medical plants. Cultivation Geographical consideration provides the knowledge about availability, potency, authenticity, whereas environmental factors in relation to plants gives us cultivation clues. Cultivation measures and techniques are essential as the scarcity of many medicinal plants is the major issue in present time. As medicinal plants are in great demand in pharmaceutical industries, to combat with these issues, cultivation is essential. It requires to educate the agriculturists and farmers which plants they can grow in their lands according to environmental conditions. It will also raise their economical conditions. Lack of information of sound cultivation results in gradual depletion of raw material from wild sources. Root drugs like ginger, saffron, tea, etc. are obtained from cultivated plant. Cultivation of drugs involves various factors such as climate, rainfall, irrigation, altitude, temperature, etc. aspects of natural drugs. Advantages of Cultivation It ensures quality and purity of medicinal plants. Cultivation of rhizomes demands an adequate fertilizers and proper irrigation. Systematic cultivation results in raising crop with maximum volatile oils and active constituents. For example, ginger and turmeric. Cultivated plants are kept free from weeds. The contamination of crude drugs can be avoided. Collection of crude drugs from cultivated plants gives a better yield and therapeutic quality. It should be done by skilled people and have some professional excellence. For example, collection of latex from poppy capsules. Cultivation ensures regular supply of crude drugs. Planning a crop cultivation regularize its supply which results the industries depending upon crude drugs don't face problem or shortage of raw materials. Cultivation permits application of modern technological aspects such as mutation, hybridization and tissue culture etc. Cultivation of medicinal and aromatic plants also leads to industrialization to greater extent. Cultivation of coffee, cocoa in Kerala gives us a better example and this gives rise to several cottages and small-scale industries. There are some disadvantages also such as high cost of cultivated drugs or compared to wild sources and losses due to ecological imbalances such as storms, earthquakes, etc. Techniques of cultivation Organic farming In this organic farming, we avoid usage of fertilizers, pesticides and growth regulators. We don't use any artificial thing in organic farming. Crop rotation. Use of both animal and vegetable origin manures. Use of organic and farmyard manures. Using oil cakes of castor, neem, etc. Usage of fish and bone meals. pH for growth of microorganisms is 6.8 to 7.5. Temperature is 23 to 27 degrees. Nitrogen fixing bacteria, for example, Rhizobium azatobacter, blue green algae species. Propagation is in two ways. First one is sexual and second one is asexual. Sexual. Plants are raised from seeds or known as seedlings. Asexual. Vegetative propagation from stem or root. For example, japa, pomegranate, grapes, etc. Vegetative propagation. It is done by sowing plant parts in well prepared soil. For example, Bulb as garlic, tubers gives rice to potato, and rhizomes gives rice to ginger and turmeric. Aspetic method Plants are developed under aspetic conditions like single cell, seeds, embryo, root tips, etc., provided with nutritional and hormonal requirements. Factors affecting cultivation altitude or temperature, humidity, rainfall or irrigation soil and its fertility, fertilizers which we use in our crops and fields, pest and pest control, and pH of the soil. Conservation of medicinal plants Conservation of medicinal plants can be achieved by leaving state unhampered for a minimum period of 3 years, giving chance for sufficient regeneration. To conserve these type of fields, what we have to do is, we shouldn't touch the land for 3 years so that it can grow naturally and regenerate itself. Collecting of plant material of threatened species and domesticating the species. 
propagation of best selected genotype advances in cultivation technique should be learned and implementation for improvement of plant product plant identification for example herbarium specimen botanists should improve technique for cultivating plants one should aware the public about need of conserving plants to understand the ecosystem in which medicinal plants grow health policy makers should include conservation of medicinal plants in their policy horticulturists should cultivate medicinal plants legal experts to develop effective legal mechanism that ensures that collection of medicinal plants is at levels that are sustainable park managers to conserve medicinal plants within the parks pharmacologist should study application of medicinal plants taxonomist should identify the plants accurately religious leader should promote respect for the nature plant pathologist to protect cultivated medicinal plants from pest and disease without dangerous chemical seed biologist to understand the germination and storage requirement of seed of different medicinal plants government should regulate the collection of medicinal plants from wild sources but they should prohibit the collection of wild sources which are threatened so we should be away from wild sources should improve technique for harvesting storage and production information about endangered species botanical survey of india published a small booklet called as threatened plants of india 1980 due to lack of application of scientific measures for systematic cultivation as well as unspecific over exploitation from nature few points are nowadays on the verge of becoming extinct some of them has been identified by government of india as endangered species or plants unspecific exploitation and ignorance about life cycle is the main reason some of the plants are ativisha jetamansi ashoka khadira ankola shallaki varuna etc plants likely to become extinct in future are hataki ashwagandha shatavari pata etc and plants which are prohibited to export from india are sarpagandha kusta varahi chandan ativisha and euphorbia species so it's responsibility of every citizen to identify such medicinal plants which are going to extinct and preserve them so this is dr aisha signing out thank you all please do like share and subscribe to my channel for more updates keep watching ayush bms course